We begin with that massive manhunt in Maine after a shooting that killed 18 people. More than a dozen are also injured after a gunman opened fire at a bowling alley and restaurant last night. Tonight, residents are on lockdown, and we just learned from NYPD sources that the suspect may have a connection to New York City, and that has officers on high alert. We have live team coverage with CBS 2's investigative reporter Tim McNicholas in the newsroom with new details on the suspect, but we begin with Bradley Blackburn, live from Lewiston, Maine, tonight with the latest on the investigation. Bradley. Dick, there is still the concern that this community and the surrounding area could be in danger 24 hours after the shooting started. This manhunt is intensifying with law enforcement agencies participating, including ATF, the U.S. Marshals, the FBI, all working to catch this guy because until they do, this community that is trying to grieve is really frozen in fear. Authorities in Maine are urging residents to shelter in place as they hunt for the gunman believed to be responsible for Wednesday's deadly mass shooting. He should be considered armed and dangerous. Based on our investigation, we believe this is someone that should not be approached. We have an active shooter. We have multiple injuries. Officials say 40-year-old Robert Card, seen here in surveillance photos, opened fire inside a Lewiston bowling alley that hosts a children's bowling league. I don't know where he just came in and there was a loud pop. That was a balloon. About 10 minutes later, police believe the U.S. Army reservist fired at patrons inside a restaurant four miles away. A vehicle belonging to the suspect was found shortly before midnight in a nearby town. You and me and all these people standing here, we, we all got to fear for our lives today. Homicides here in Maine's second largest city are rare. The state itself has long been considered one of the safest in the nation. This city did not deserve this terrible assault on its citizens, on its peace of mind, <clears throat> on its sense of security. No city does. A New York National Guard spokesperson says Card was taken to a hospital for a medical evaluation in July after acting erratically during training at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. As the investigation continues, President Biden has ordered flags to be flown at half-staff nationwide in honor of the victims. And we are just down the road from the bowling alley. What's striking here is what we don't see. There is no makeshift memorial at this site like we normally see after mass shootings. And that is because people are in many ways heeding the warnings about their safety. Instead, choosing to honor the victims online with posts. And Dick, we know that this town will plan a vigil once they're sure it's safe. All right, Bradley Blackburn in Lewiston, Maine. Thank you very much.